factoring polynomials, it means we are going to find the factors of the given polynomial expressions. Sa halimbawa, meron tayong given na sa simpleng mathematics, for example, we have 3 and 4, we have the product 12. So, yung 12 ang product natin. But aside from 3 and 4, yung product na 12, that is the product of 3 and 4. Aside from 3 and 4, we can have 6 and 2. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. And 12 multiplied by 1 is 12. So, pwede rin siya negative 3 and negative 4 or negative 6 and negative 2 and negative 12 and negative 1. So, ang sagot dyan is equal to 12. And they are called the factors of number 12. Pero sa, if we are talking about polynomial expressions, ganun din siya. Halimbawa, we have x plus 1 and then x minus 2. If we multiply this, that is x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. So that is x squared minus x minus 2. So x squared minus x minus 2. So, ang factors niya ay ito, yung x plus 1 and x minus 2. Kasi if we multiply x plus 1 and x minus 2, the answer is x squared minus x minus 2. So, ganun lang. So, babalik rin natin. So, para siyang reverse method ng multiplication of polynomials. Yun nga lang, hindi siya basta dividing polynomials using long division and synthetic division. So, sa dividing polynomials or getting the factors of polynomials, gagamit tayo ng iba't ibang technique maliban sa dividing polynomials. Saka, isa pa, we can only use dividing polynomials kung meron tayong divisor. Pero dito, wala tayong given divisor. Meron lang tayong given expression and then hahanap lang tayo ng possible or hahanapin natin yung factors without using long division and synthetic division. So, example, we have negative 6 So, first example, negative 6 x raised to 5 minus 15 x raised to 4 plus 9 x raised to 3 So, una natin gagamitin kung meron ba silang common monomial factor Ibig sabihin, kung meron silang Variable na pare-parehas. Meron ba? X. Merong X. Merong X. So, lahat sila merong X. So, that is already a common uh, monomial factor. Sa constant, negative 6, negative 15, and 9. Negative 6, negative 15, and 9. So, kung magaling kayo sa division, we, you can already identify that they are divisible by 3. Yun nga lang, since merong negative 6 and negative 15, we can use, para mas madali, mas marami kasi ang negative, so we can use negative 3. Kasi yung constants, they are all divisible by 3. And then, para naman dito sa variable x, kukunin lang natin yung pinaka mababang exponent. x raised to 5, x raised to 4, and x raised to 3. So, kukunin natin yung x raised to 3, yung pinaka mababa. So, ito ngayon yung common monomial factor. So, inihiwalay natin siya. So, na yung imumultiply natin dito para maging negative 6 x raised to 5. Or, negative 6 x raised to 5 over negative 3 x raised to 3. So, 6, negative 6 divided by 3 or negative 3 is 2. x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 3, that is x square. So, yung first term natin is 2 x square. Then, negative 15 x raised to 4 over negative 3 x raised to 3. So, that is positive 5. And then, x raised to 4 over x raised to 3 
That is x. So, positive siya. So, plus tayo. Plus 5x. For the third term, 9x cubed over negative 3x raised to 3. 9 divided by negative 3. So, that is negative 3. Cancel si x cubed. Cancel si x cubed. So, ito lang yung matitira. Negative 3. So, negative 3. So, wala na namang susunod. So, i-close na natin yung parenthesis. So, that is already factors. Pero, yung 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, pwede pa natin siyang ma or meron pa tong factors. So, that's still factorable. If you use discriminant sa factoring, you can identify that, it, that the discriminant is a perfect square number. Therefore, we can still find the factor of this trinomial. So, paano natin kukunin to? a ah, factor nito. So, using factoring method na natutunan natin nung grade 9. So, ito okay na to. Negative 3x cubed. So, yung 2x square plus 5x minus 3. So, gawa lang tayong open close parenthesis. That is 2x multiplied by x. For negative 3, so, kung dito tayo maglalagay ng 3, pwede siyang maging 6. And then, since negative siya, so, that is 4, 3, that is 3, multiply by 1. Since negative siya, dapat magkaiba sila ng sign. Kung 3, imumultiply natin by 2. So, dapat positive 5 ang kalabasan. So, that is plus 5. Ito ay minus 1. So, pag kinuha natin to, 1, negative 1 multiply by x, that is negative x. 2x multiply by 3. Kung nakalimutan nyo na, 2x minus 1 x plus 3 so ginamit natin yung factor ng negative 3 as negative 1 multiplied by positive 3 so ito yung ginamit natin and then kapag tinry natin yung in multiplied by out so in multiplied by in negative 1 multiplied by x is negative x 2x multiplied by 3 is 6x and then, if we add this, negative x plus 6x, that is 5x. So, ayun yung middle term. So, dapat ito yung kalabasan. Pag hindi, so mali ang negative 1 and 3. So, papalitan siya ng bago. So, it means... Yung factor ng 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is, or r... 2x minus 1 and x plus 3. Since hindi na natin mapapaktor itong 2x minus 1 and x plus 3, saka yung negative 3x raised to 3, unless paghiwalay natin itong x cube. So this will be the final answer. So yan, negative 3x raised to 3 multiply by 2x minus 1 multiply by x plus 3. Second example. So, for second example, the given expression is 2x raised to 4 minus 21x squared plus 27. So, dito, medyo mahirap siya kasi meron tayong exponent na 4. So, medyo malaki siya. So, ang alam lang natin since we, uh, we already studied factoring or quadratic equation nung grade 9. So, ito, 4 kasi ang exponent niya. So, mas okay kung may transfer transform natin to sa quadratic equation. Hindi rin tayo pwedeng gumamit ng common monomial factoring kasi ito may x, may x, pero yung third term, 
ay constant term. So, wala siyang variable x. So, ang gagamitin natin, mag a tayo para maging quadratic equation siya na ang u or ang x square is equal to u. Pwede tayong gumamit ng ibang letter. So, depende sa inyo yan. Pero dito, I'm going to use u. Kasi pag dinibide natin 2 by 2, so magiging 2 siya, ito ay magiging 1. So, 2, 1, then constant term. So, magiging quadratic equation siya. So, let x square is equal to u. So, ang mangyayari, 2, since x raised to 4, since x raised to 2 is equal to u, ano yung mangyayari kay x raised to 4? Kung ang isang u ay x square, isang u ay x, x, paano siya magiging apat? So, dalawang u. So, para dito, para, yan. So, ibig sabihin, u square. Kasi meron tayong x raised to 4. Next, minus 21. Ang x square natin daw ay equal to u. So, yung x square gagawin natin u. Then, plus 27. So, ngayon, uh, quadratic, equi, uh, quadratic form na siya, quadratic expression. So, pwede tayong gumamit ngayon ng factoring. So, that is 2u multiply by u. So, ang factor ng 27 ay 27 multiply by 1, 3 multiply by 9. So, obviously, hindi natin pwede gamitin ang 27 multiply by 1. Kasi pag dito ang 27 at 1, imposible siyang maging 21. Pag dito ang 27, magmumultiply siya by 2, hindi rin pwede. So, ang gagamitin natin is 3, 9. Pag dito ang 9, pwede siyang maging 18. Then, i-add natin yung 3, 19, 20, 21. So, dito ang 9, dito ang 3. So, if we multiply 9 by 2, magiging 18, 3, so 21. So, ngayon, positive siya. Pero negative ang gitna. So, pag positive, dapat pare sila ng sign. So, since negative ang middle term, so they are both negative. So, that is 2u multiply by 9 is negative 18u. Yung negative 3 multiply by u is negative 3u. So, that is negative 21u. So, the factor is 2u minus 3. Multiply by quantity u minus 9. So, yun nga lang, since nag-transform tayo dito from x square to u, babalik natin siya sa dati. So, yung u, gagawin natin ulit x square. So, 2, yung u ay magiging x square minus 3. And then, yung u, magiging x square minus 9. So, Two x multiply by x, so three. Pag dito natin nilagay yung three, three multiply by six, at uh, three multiply by two six. So dapat zero ang middle term. So six. Ito ay one. So impossible siyang maging zero. Pag dito ang three, at dito ang one, ang kakalabasan ay 3 yung gitna, 2 yung labas. So, yung posible siyang maging 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung 2x squared minus 3 is already uh, one of the factors. Yung x squared minus 9, yung x squared minus 9, pwede siyang i-check natin, x multiply by x, 3 multiply by 3. Hindi, obviously, hindi pwede ang 9 kasi magiging magkakaroon ng value ang middle term. So, since minus siya, 9 siya, kailangan magkaiba sila ng sign. Isang positive, isang negative. So, negative 3x, yung nasa labas ay positive 3. So, magiging sagot ay 0x. So, ayun yung middle term or simply 0. So, pag 0, hindi natin nilalagay. So, it means tama yung x minus 3 and x plus 3. So, yung x squared minus 9 is equal to x plus 3.
and x minus 3. So, ito ngayon yung factors ng uh, 2x raised to 4 minus 21x squared plus 27. So, this will be the final answer.